Hi everyone, it's Natalie here back with another collective message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well today. So we're just going to tap into this energy. We'll see what spirit needs us to know right now on this lovely Thursday. Mm. Let's see, what is the energy? What is the energy right now, please, for the collective? What do they need to know? We have jewel web, connectivity, ego sublimination, vanishing mirror. All right, so something about mirror magic was being done. I feel like the spell is being broken. I feel like the magic had a lot to do with your connectedness. Someone wanted to knock you off your path or not have you connected to something. Okay, they didn't. So, okay, hold on one second. Someone didn't want you guys connected to something is what I'm getting here. But I feel like you guys are connected. There's like no way that you guys can not be connected. Yeah, something about possibilities. Okay, your possibilities are endless. Your possibilities for unions are endless. So maybe someone out here was trying to, oh, make you insecure about your unions. Yeah, base chakra, strength and security, laying foundations. Yep, karmic release, radical transformation. None of that energy is yours. I don't know what someone's trying to send your way, like in my last couple readings, but none of that energy is yours. Why? Because these people don't know how to uh, escape. It's like they're stuck here. Some people are stuck here. They don't know how to escape. They don't know how to like um, heal themselves. Aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. So even when people knock you off your path, you're still on the right path is what I'm getting here. Yeah, we have halls of learning, spirit guides, confirmation, great lessons, all encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, and serenity. And then a karmic release, healing the lineage and boundaries. I feel like you guys are learning how to live your life unconditionally for yourself, not only for other people, but for yourself. I feel like it it starts with like not holding grudges, okay? Or not carrying past life trauma. Yeah, Akashic, clearing old stories, reliving past lives and freedom. Yeah. I feel like you guys are just in the energy of like not really it of okay learning how to have thicker skin when you're connected to the divine it's good to learn to have thicker skin we have let them go here in the world awaits you something about family or people out here that just they don't understand you but they're not stopping nothing okay they're not stopping anything yeah you've earned all your stripes something about your strength is out here What is the advice? Universe, we're all just stardust. Yeah, that's what that's really what I was getting out here. Um, you deserve sugar, not salt. So I feel like with um, this evil queen energy, there's someone around you out here that wants to like taint what you give to the universe. Okay, take control of your own narrative. See, it's like they want to taint what whatever that you're giving or whatever you're giving to the universe. Is what I'm getting out here. Yeah, something lovely will grow from this. How's that for happily ever after? I'm also picking up something like uh, as soon as someone tried to do something to you, it automatically failed or you automatically escaped it or you moved around something or something like that. Picking up something about Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd. Somebody out here, Elmer Fudd and you Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Somebody out here is Elmer Fudd and you're Bugs Bunny. New happy days. It's like people really have plots for you, like something about, yeah, someone try to like switch up your Akashic records or like change it. They're learning the lesson about that. You can't do that. Someone was really trying to taint. I feel like whatever you give to the earth, it's not yours to give. It's really God's to give and he's giving it to you to give to other people. So when people try to taint that, it really starts to mess with karma. Karma starts getting involved. Archangel starts getting involved. Ancestor starts getting involved because... It's like you're connected. We have sociopath lies too easily. If you guys are living a good life, someone out here is throwing EY at your life, trying to make it seem like you're not living a good life. And you know what? I've been getting uh, downloads or when I'm sitting by myself, I can hear people talking about me. Now, people might classify that as schizophrenia. I just classify that as, you know, like I just know everything. I can hear people's conversations even from across the world about me. And I know everybody's thoughts. Someone out here is lying on you guys. You can feel it. 
This person is walking around lying on you guys. We have the ninth house, travel, higher learning, religion, law, and ethics. Someone is, someone can't find you, so they lie on you. Yeah, we have the throat chakra energy. I, I channeled that in my last reading. Someone is attacking that. We have south node, home wrecker. What else? Yeah, there's a solid connection here, though. New job and promotions here at the bottom. Solid connection, fake spiritualist. Yeah, someone is just mad at you because you're not a fake spiritualist. They're trying to throw, they're trying to project that energy onto you. Like, literally. Someone is very loyal to you and has good intentions. Someone is high vibing, but someone is racist of a mother energy. Someone is racist of their, yeah, they don't like you, but must respect you. Someone out here knows that, like, you're a good, caring person or that you're a good mom or something like that. And they don't like that. So they talk bad about you. Now, either this could be a fake spiritualist out here throwing, you know, shade at you or something like that. Or they're trying to say that you're a fake spiritualist. But I feel like this person is just jealous because they're stuck in their south node. Or they're trying to throw, oh, okay, thank you, spirit. They're trying to throw that energy onto you. So if you, something about the ninth house. If your north node requires you to travel, they don't want you to do that. They want you stuck in your south node. Or if your north node requires you to learn or go to school or be in some sort of like... I feel like your north node, I don't, for some of you guys, um, revolves a lot around like you guys just learning. And someone is talking bad about you because of that. We have the queen of swords upright out here. Yeah, someone is an intellectual. Someone is an intellectual. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, someone doesn't like that you're smart or something like that. Someone isn't getting what they want out of someone that's intellectual. Okay? They're not getting what they want out of someone like that. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they, they feel like something isn't getting anywhere because someone is too smart. Four Swords in the reverse. Yeah, it's not a good... Something here is just not a good idea. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Someone is going around restlessly trying to make something fit. It's a karmic feminine for sure. It was a bad investment to go after someone like that or to attack someone that is armed and ready, I'm hearing. I just heard armed and ready. Not only that, you guys have a solid connection with whatever higher power that is out here. Someone either try to say you're a homewrecker or a fake spiritualist out here, but how? I feel like you're the type to, like, uh, read books. Five of Pentacles out here. Yeah, someone is going crazy because they're, like, in some sort of financial situation. I'm hearing I told you so. You may have told someone about this. You're also watching what you say. We have the lovers out here. You're not speaking up about your connection. You might not be speaking up about your connection to spirit either, so people misconstrue you as someone that does not have a connection with spirit. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding back energy. Nine of Wands in the reverse. People got to give up. People got to give this up. Eight of Swords. Now they're stuck in their head. Someone out here has mental issues right now. Someone is going through like some sort of mental breakdown. Let me get one more. Knight of Cups in the reverse. I'm getting like a begging energy with that. Someone doesn't like you because they don't have any money or they don't have any finances. They're broke or something or they don't have any connection to the most high. It's like they need you to lead them to the most high. I don't know how they expect that. I feel like when people try to get to me to get to the most high i just send them i just send them to yeshua i have them do it the same way i did it it's like i don't understand how someone is lying on you though they're saying that you're lying or something is going on with lies someone is definitely a home wrecker all right clarify the queen of swords the hierophant in the reverse I feel like you're not leading these people. <laughs> I feel like you're leaving people. Yeah, five of swords out here. I feel like you're leaving people where they're at. 
that five of swords and the hierophant in the reverse and the devil in the reverse. Yeah, you're not leading the devil anywhere. You're, you're not doing that. Someone wants you for ideas. Yeah, the page of wands out here. Creative sparks, creative ideas or something like that. Could definitely be a, a copycat energy, but this is giving me more like this person wants info from you all the time. But they don't have a connection with spirit. So how will they understand what you're saying or what you're trying to teach someone? Like when you try to teach them something, it goes in one ear and out the other. It's like they, they have a disrespect for um, what you know, but they want to know what you know. Okay. Nine of Cups in the reverse. So this person wonders why they don't have anything, and this is exactly why. Nine of, Pentacles, Nine of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Two of Pentacles in the reverse with the Page of Wands. Yeah, this person's trying to get some sort of creative spark on how to get something balanced or get something to, to go here. Ten of Wands, yeah, because they're really burdened. I feel like this person is racking their brain of ideas. I feel like, meanwhile, you guys are very emotionally balanced and stable. This person is going through a lot of, like, trauma. I'm hearing trauma. Someone is locked out of something. And they're trying to get a way, they're trying to find a way in. They're trying to find a way through. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Because they're burdened. I kind of feel bad for this person. Maybe they do have a lot of responsibilities. They don't know how to handle it. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Oh, because they got caught doing something. I take that back. They got caught doing something. They were doing something the wrong way. Yeah, they were doing things behind the scenes with the moon card out here. Maybe with a group of people. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm hearing something about cutting corners. Someone was cutting corners or they were lying or they got caught in a lie or they got through the door by lying. They don't have a solid connection with the most high. Clarify the moon. Deceiving energy. Yeah, someone is hiding things behind. It's like someone here needs your help. But they'll never tell you exactly why they need your help. They've been doing things behind the scenes. A lot of mischievous action going on in here. And they wonder why they can't move forward or they can't be on your level. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles out here. I hope they're learning their lesson with this. Temperance in the reverse, Queen of Wands and the Star. Oh, someone just wants to get close to the star. They want to get close to her. I, I see this person sending pages your way. So either they're sending people your way. That's for somebody. Or they're sending, they're sending pages your way because they need healing. They're sending messages. I'm hearing subliminal messages. Because they need your healing. Yeah, the four swords in reverse, they don't have any healing. So far the four swords in reverse. I'm also getting like they get little bits and pieces of knowledge and they run around acting like they know this knowledge. We have the, uh, yeah, the hangman out here with the sun. It's like they're fake enlightened. The hangman is not even uh, reverse. Yeah, the hermit in the reverse. They have no sort of knowledge. The three of wands, it's like they, they wait for the empress to come through with the knowledge first. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This is a female. This is a female. They wait for the, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, King of Pentacles in the reverse, Seven of Cups and Justice in the reverse, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Someone is delusional. Someone is delusional. They have like this weird... Um, they just don't understand how they don't have something. I don't know. Clarify this uh, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Someone out here is just too reckless. It's like they, they're being shown that they're reckless, but they don't want to accept it. Clarify the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, the Three of Cups in the reverse. I knew this had to do with dealing with third parties and things of that such. We have the Emperor, the Star in the reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles.
The Emperor star in the reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone doesn't have healing here. Someone doesn't have healing. I feel like also... It's not wise to... Okay, I'll say this. Take this with a grain of salt. Yeah, three of swords out here. It's not wise to involve a crowd of people around you that just want to, like, uh, be you. Someone out here literally likes attention. Someone is starting to realize that the reason why they're going through things is because they like attention. Oh, okay. I see. Queen of Swords don't like attention. And this person is trying to get up under the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords don't even want them around them, but they're still all up under the Queen of Swords energy. She's just coming off as someone as smart. This person over here is someone that likes to energy vampire. Yeah, energy vampire. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. They like to energy vampirism off somebody because of what they know. They know that they see that they have a solid connection with spirit. Yeah, the Empress. You have a solid connection with spirit. But there's also another feminine out here. There's someone out here, a homewrecker energy that lied on you or something. Or try to get this person to believe that you were lying or something. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Temperance in the reverse. Yeah, there's no healing here. There's not even healing in any sort of finances going on out here. It's like this person is extremely unbalanced. King of Cups with the star. And the Six of Cups behind that with the Nine. Yeah, someone wants, someone wants to go towards someone that they betrayed. High Priestess in the reverse with the Emperor in the reverse. They want to go towards someone that they betrayed, but they're also, they were betrayed by a uh, High Priestess energy, someone that was controlling them with spiritual messages. With the King of Cups and the Star out here, it's like they need emotional healing or something like that. That's why they're coming towards you. Could be an Aquarius, also seeing Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Pisces, and that's all right now. Gemini, Cancer, clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers. Three of Pentacles. With the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're working with somebody out here. I feel like you're working with somebody out here. They want to work with you. You want to work with them. It's free will out here. Tell me more about that Queen of Cups. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse with the Two of Swords. Yeah, someone judged you a little bit too quickly. They thought that you were the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this person, I don't know. I think that this person is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone is not single. I feel like it's you guys. You're not single. You're not by yourself. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, thank you, Spirit. You're just not by yourself anymore. You're not exactly independent right now. Okay, but there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles out here, or the Queen of Cups and Three of Pentacles out here, it's like you, you're working and you're collaborating. You're just making life better for yourself with this person. Why the Four of Pentacles here? So you're holding back your energy. Yeah, you're holding back your energy. Leo energy with the Strength card. Yeah, uh, Ace of Swords. Uh, there could be some energy of like holding back the truth or being defensive. Blocking people out. It's like what's understood don't got to be explained type of energy. Yeah, we have uh, death in the reverse. Yeah. There's also no change. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, High Priestess in the reverse, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, some sort of secret came out about things being unbalanced with a person out here. 
and how they try to manipulate a situation. I'm also getting energy like a, they're trying to manipulate you to wait for them or something like that, and that's not working anymore. You realize that something was never going to change, so you basically hold your energy back from people, or places, or things that you know are not going to change. And that's what this person is doing. Like, they're not changing. They're literally trying to... I feel like this person is not enlightened. They want to cut corners. They want to use you for some knowledge and then leave you. Clarify the Nine of Wands from the reverse. Ace of Pentacles out here. Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, guys, my phone cut off. But anyway, we got this Ace of Pentacles out here with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this is your guys' energy. Your guys' energy is always replenishing, especially when it comes to money. I feel like that's what someone is realizing out here with the Nine of Wands in the reverse. You're no longer struggling or something. Some I feel like you guys are always blessed or replenished. Yeah, we have the uh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the World in reverse. So by someone trying to block your finances, their finances are being blocked. By someone trying to block your finances, they're being blocked. Why the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles? Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you guys are like in bliss right now. You guys don't care. Yeah, you, I feel like you guys are rejecting people left and right with the <laughs> Empress and the Queen of Wands out here. That's what I see here. You could just be in a connection though. I see you working with somebody out here. I feel like you're not single. Someone doesn't like this. They feel like uh, they miss the Empress or they want to go back to the past. I feel like in the past they were in the Nine of Wands that were blocking you, but now they don't want to block you anymore because they see you as the Empress. But I feel like this person only wants you because someone else has you or something like that. Or maybe they don't. This person was doing things behind the scenes, period. And I feel like this person wants to come out, but they don't really respect you like that. They don't listen to when you talk. Like they don't listen. They just want you for your knowledge and then they go off somewhere else. And clarify the Eight of Swords. Three of Wands in the reverse. This person's stuck in their head because you're not waiting on them anymore. Seven of Cups in the reverse, the Two of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, there's no more illusions. You're closing this out. Lesson learned. You're out of here. You're not waiting for anything to come up out of this situation at all. It's like you see things for what it is. You're choosing a side. Just like this person chose their side, you're choosing the side. The funny thing about it, though, is this person is either changing up the narrative or they're around someone that's changing up the narrative because I see someone out here doing that. Clarify the uh, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So someone is jealous, they're envious, they're an energy vampire, who cares? Yeah, they want, yeah, they, okay, three of swords with the Queen of Pentacles out here. And the Page of Cups in reverse. See what I mean? It's like this person, I feel like you, you don't want to be around this person because, number one, you have a lot of things on your plate. Then we have the Three of Swords out here. This person involved a third party. So it's like this person's energy is just so fake. Yeah, and then we, okay, yeah. King of Wands in the reverse. Then we have the King of Pentacles out here, upright. This person didn't do what, what they were supposed to do in this situation. So they got to let you move on. This person has never moved on from you, but there's a whole other person in the picture. Eight of Pentacles. I hope this person just uses this as a lesson. Yeah, there's a counterpart out here. They misjudged you. I feel like this person wants you back or they, they feel like you're with the wrong person or something, but it is what it is. I feel like someone out here just, yeah, laws, not justice, rules that are not fair, wake up, it's your moment. This person wasn't woken to the moment that they had with you or something like that. Also, it's like you drop a lot of jewels or you drop a lot of knowledge on this person and they miss that. Like, but no, they're supposed to listen or something like that. I want to be queen stating your sovereignty. Uh, declaring freedom and passing a test. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. I feel like somebody out here tried to put you through some sort of a test too. 
Lead the way, be a leader, show others how it's done so you can help others. You are rare and free. There's not many like you. Yeah, you weren't expected to pass this test. Yeah, now they're angry. Who in the world are you? Find the lesson. See, it's like you found the lesson of the situation. They didn't expect you to do that. And you use your time well. So someone out here is realizing that they wasted a lot of time trying to break you or trying to make it seem like you were going to chase them. Like this person just doesn't know you anymore. They don't know you anymore because usually you would drop jewels on them, drop knowledge on them and help them. And I don't know. But this person is starting to realize you're not just you're not doing it anymore. And I feel like this has a lot to do with your lessons in life, too. Generational curses out here. This person probably cursed themselves playing with you. Oh. I got that death energy out there. Let's see, what is this energy? Yeah, we have manipulation out here with drugs and alcohol. So this person could be like uh, trying to say that drugs and alcohol uh, made them do this or something. Or they try to, or they were manip, they probably were manipulated, but that's still not an excuse. Okay, so we have domino snowball effect. So something here was just building up and building up and building up. Yeah, keep winning. We have this cancer energy, mother sensitive empathy. So keep winning when it comes to your parenting. We have authenticity out here. Manifest your dreams. We have only Marys for money out here. And then we have, they don't like you, but must respect you. Yeah, they don't like you, but must respect you because you, you're you manifesting your dreams. And someone out here is just trying to find someone with money to marry. So, yeah, they just want to, like, see what you would do for them or something like that. But, I don't know, this seems very low vibe to me. But it's also good because I see that you guys are transmuting all this. Regret and grieving, solar plexus energy. So someone is like in that woulda, coulda, shoulda energy. Be a leader. Pain goes into power. Happiness and joy. They don't rob empty houses. Someone was trying to rob you of your happiness and your joy. They don't like when you're happy. They don't like when you're doing anything for yourself that's good. Because if they did, they would have treated you right and not just use you for like your knowledge or something like that. I don't feel like this person was using you for money. But I do sense that they see that. Um, but it's going somewhere else right now. Yeah. All right. So this is your guys' reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. I hope it made sense. Um, if it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.